Hey, oh, people! I'm Kevers Three, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. I have been meaning to get back to this one for a while, I but I haven't, as you already know. Um, you may notice I am in a different environment now. I have moved my PC setup to my room. I'm hoping to do like a setup tour or video about that. Um, I still haven't set up. I have a DSLR camera that I want to set up as my webcam, but I haven't yet. So there's that. But anyways, my main Oh, my mic. My main goal today in this game is to actually do what the narrator says because I did a horrible job of doing that last time. So we're going to try and at least do that this time and maybe get a couple other endings. Who knows? So let's get into this. This is the. Ah, we already heard that. All right. So we're back in here. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Okay. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yes. So I want to follow all of his instructions this time. I, I don't when even Stanley remember. When came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I don't even really remember um, what all the endings I got last time were. I remember the one where I backed out of the office too soon. Um... Yet there was not a single person here either. Yeah, I Feeling know. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's I'm just trying office. to rush through a lot of this. There we go. Because we saw a lot of this in the last episode, and I backed out there. Stepping into his there. manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Huh. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wandered in disbelief who orchestrated this? What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk what? guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been oh. keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of yet incredibly, by simply pushing <laughs> random buttons on the keypad, I love this game. happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Oh, that's amazing. That's beautifully written. into the newly opened passageway. Oh, an elevator. Ah, I loved that. Descending deeper into the building. Stanley realized Hello? he felt a bit peculiar. Oh, I'm gonna throw there up. There was a stirring <clears throat> of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Bring this free. question would not go unanswered <laughs> for long. Oh, thank you for telling me. Hello, human beings? Stanley walked oh. straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I really want to right now. Nope. All right. I got. I. 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 Main goal for this one is to follow the narrator. I, I'll. I'll go back for that one. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Maybe. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna push another button. Now the Pushing buttons is good. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Okay. Did something go wrong then? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I... Then no. Okay. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, mm -hmm, wasn't sure. it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes. 
Oh, right. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Mind control Controls status. Controls labeled with emotions. Offline. Happy or sad. Offline. Or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Facility power. And as the cold reality of his past oh, what's up began there? to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power Is over this the another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Four. I don't know if I need that. Do I need to do like a code? I have no idea. <laughs> yes. What I want to know is like, why? Why is the? Where is everybody? And why is everything offline? I, I want to know that. And like, why is it not working on Stanley? Why is Stanley the only one left? Idle, awaiting input. System power. On when at last or off. he found the source of the room's power. Dang it, there's so many he knew it was his duty, endings. his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Uh alright. I I guess I'm gonna shut it off. He's black. I don't hear anything. The, the, my mouse popped up. Wait. I see stuff. I saw little dots. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. Oh. He had light. Won. He had defeated the machine. I can go forward. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom yeah. was mere moments oh, wait. away. I went too far. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. A lot. When had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power. It matters that to me. Had been seeking, I wanna know. But happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the Can only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Yeet. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. Is this how it the ends? feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Mm. And Stanley okay. was happy. Alright. Main goal of video completed. It's only been nine minutes. <laughs> yes. Time to mess around. Alright, wait a second. Those weren't there before. What? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room what? to check on his co I swear all these papers he were not here before. Himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. I wanna so see the thought it. of total solitude was terrifying to him. Does it add things every time? Does it like add elements every time you complete a different ending? I'm so lost. And the papers end here. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, huh. he entered the door on his left. Mm, what do I want to do? Let's go right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Mm, nah. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't I five years ago. I know I went down... Where did I go? I Look, think I Stan, went down there. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. So I want to go that way. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Pretty sure I went I over there. I realize that investing so. your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. 
be someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, Who have I forgotten about? For me, I'm asking for her. Wait, what? Hold on. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. What? She's been waiting. What? Oh, gosh. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. What should I do? <laughs> what if I just sit here? What happens if I don't pick up the phone? Do I have to pick up the phone? Can I unplug it? As Stanley oh, picked you up can. the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited. I didn't... One... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug <laughs> the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually... Chose incorrectly. Oh yes. I know that was possible. I'm so Let good at doing check. what I'm not supposed to. No, In this game. It's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. <laughs> not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. Oh my gosh, understand. yes. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. Why? Had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Ah. Oh. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and and right choices. No. And to Can think I pick I've been it up now? letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? No. Well, I won't have that kind of risk on I my didn't. watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. world. Please observe this helpful instruction. I don't want to. I don't want to survive this video. Oh. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. <laughs> but if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. What is this game? For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational oh. logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, what? then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. What? Practice. Okay. Do I click? Excellent. Making choices oh, on a regular basis on, okay. is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. <laughs> Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. I don't think that's Do healthy. You make more than eight? Not, yes. not the choices finally, thing, but the alligator thing. If your choices are actually meaningful, and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant. <laughs> And the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide in you field in exercise. exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Where's my instructor? Ah, oh, hey, there we go. Back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as oh, a result goodness. of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly narrative informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. All right. Oh, are there more endings I can get from here? Ugh. 
It would take so long to get back, though. I want to. 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 That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Why not? You created it. You can make it better, can't you? <laughs> Gosh. Oh, a door. Is there anything in here I can... One, two, no. All right. Always check doors, just in case. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Really? I'm not sure. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That what do I want to do? Responsibly and always putting the story first. Oh, I don't. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I want to. <laughs> no! Why did you do that? Quickly, oh, I'm breaking it. Back in the other direction. I'm breaking Perhaps the game. Too late. What if I go back? Ah, uh, I think I have to go through the left now. Oh, that sucks. I want to break the game. I think there's more choices I could not do this way. Oh. Alright. Oh, it's ruined. <laughs> you, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Yep. Why? For oh, what? Oh. What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed but, to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase I, that. Knowledge. I know I can. I'll have to get live up with here. it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I can get up oh, here I somehow. Can't live that way. Is oh. it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut no. the game no, down. No, don't. I have to. No. I have to. Dang it. Oh, what? Am I dead? <laughs> um... I don't think it shut down properly. Oh, up. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. you <laughs> who thought you were so clever. Yep. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. Yep. What, did you think that would be funny? <laughs> I you just had to hilarious. See? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to Does do he? something, there's a good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Yep. Oh, my story. I can't get out of here. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. What? Is behave exactly as Stanley would. What? That means choosing responsibly and always put the I do? story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a what? set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Is this a glitch or is this part of the game? No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! This is part of the game. Oh, this is part of the game. Is it? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I don't even see any doors. Um. I think I broke it. 
I successfully broke the game. Um, do I need to restart from here, or... I think it's, I think it's dead. I think I need to restart. <laughs> I think this, th I think that's the end of it. Ah, I broke it. If there's more, I just totally missed it. Oh, see, the papers aren't there. That was for the, the meeting room. first yes, one. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. I want to go back there. There's a lot of places I want to go. Like, over there. Or, I don't even know. There's just a lot of places I want to go that I, like, I don't have the when capability came to, to a go set of two open to. Doors, he entered the door on his left. They, they just make me curious. Um, I... I'm going this way. Yet there was <laughs> not a single person here either. I want to get to the end. A wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to and go then go up the to escape his boss's direction. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Instead of going into the mind control facility. I wonder if I can get in here somehow. Wait, what? Business strategy. Can I? What? What is this? All right, let's go up. I didn't know you could go up for this. Oh, and it plays music for me. I don't have to add it in my editing. I didn't add it this. I didn't add this music. Did it for me. Such a nice game. Wait, the singing in it's like saying Stanley. Do you hear that? The narrator's in the song. What? So it doesn't go anywhere, but it just gives you the song? Huh. I wonder if that affects anything. I don't think it does. That's locked. Executive bathroom. Ooh. Money in the morning. Money in the evening. Money for breakfast. Money crisp. Can I go through this window somehow? Nope. Yep, yeah, I don't think there's anything important with that. Alright. I shall continue this way. Stanley walked straight ahead we through the large door that read no, Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word <laughs> escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> the door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity <laughs> to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward yes. and willingly confront his death. Yes, he was. Continuing forward. Oh, look. Did I die? Is that the end of the... <laughs> oh, no, it's not. We're good. Wait. What? Hold on. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Oh, wow. That was... Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. Wait, what? And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. There was Stanley. Uh oh. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. 
as Stanley was Wait, what? helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated <laughs> as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. What is this? It's the Stanley parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What, what is exactly this? What did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Does this show all the endings? you can walk has been created for you long in advance. Death what? becomes meaningless, making life the same. The two Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Oh, this is all like credits and oh, credits and it shows kind of different designs and whatnot. Oh, that's cool. Corridor. This is really cool. Then the different doors, the office, button sounds, a selection of sounds used. Huh, cool. Four three one four three six. Do I need that for something? I don't think so. Maintenance room. Wow. Huh. This is cool. So can I just wander around here aimlessly or will it end eventually or do... Oh, the exit. There we go. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. On How and off? they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, Narrator and Stanley? Perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Hmm. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Wait, what? Escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now. That will be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose. Is it just going to automatically restart? You know what would be cool? If you didn't quit there, if the game just automatically crashed, that would be really funny. I think I have to restart from there. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I think I'm going to have to stop there just because it's getting late and I've got enough content to make a video out of this. Um, I had a couple people telling me they wanted me to play another part of this game, so I went ahead and did it. My goal is completed. I have done what the narrator said. There are so many different endings for this. Oh my gosh. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, please like the smash button. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.